Michael Yow Show. So let's jump into AGT real quick. I know it was okay. a better experience for you than it was for me. Wow, um, you were great on there. Uh, no, no, I, I, it's tough with no audience. It was just different. Oh, you know? that, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. That. Oh, that audience thing. <laughs> I forgot about that because I don't know. I watched y'all, and I still looked at it like they're having a good time. It's fine. Oh no, I was having a good time, but yeah. Um, let's talk about your experience, then we'll talk about mine. Um, okay. I know it was great for you. Went all the way to the semifinals. It was fantastic. What did that do for your career? Absolutely nothing. Next question. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm about to say, okay. Well, let's no, talk about my experience. I, I wouldn't have had dates with the pandemic to wipe out if it wasn't for AGT. Yeah. When, when, when I was on AGT, the, one of the questions that kept getting asked, um, what is this show going to do for you? And mm. my, my answer was always the same. I just want to work. I love the idea of celebrity and fame and wealth. That's fantastic. Of course, it's on my vision board, but I'm tired of trying of working so hard to headline. Because I've been a headliner longer than I than people realize. Oh, or yeah. what the public the public knows about. Because you know, you do get to work on 20 minutes, comfortably 30 minutes. Now I can do 45 and not even realize that it's coming and it's happening. Yep. But I had to get referrals from bigger comics. I had to send my video over and over again. And now I don't have to send anything because I was on a TV show that literally I didn't know at the time. I didn't watch the show that the world knows about. And I'm talking about every race, children, old ass people. So when I got when I was on there, they're like, well, what will this show do? I'm like, it'll allow me to work without having to prove that I'm, I'm worthy of a headlining on the marquee picture on the wall. You know, Uber driving. Where are you going to uh, to a comedy club? Who are you gonna go see? Me, motherfucker. Me. <laughs> I'm the one going up. So the show enabled. It made my. It made my. It made me less anonymous to the world because I just wanted to work and I was working a lot, but not enough so that I could be like, um, I'm really, I'm really, I'm a headlining comic. comic now. Yeah, I'm a head, no, I got time you. comic. You know. Um, what I found interesting about the whole process is how much work it takes. To just be on that show. It's not like you just <laughs> it's not like you just show up and form and leave. No, you there a lot taping stuff. And the further you go, it's more and more and more. Now I didn't get to experience that part. Uh, and I'll tell you why all that happened in a second. But okay. I, uh it must have been so exciting when you were on and getting the feedback <laughs> in real time after because you had a live show, you had audience there, uh, and I'm sure your social media blew up right after. So how was that for you? You know what? It was it was uh, it was um, overwhelming at times, but once I got there for the first audition, I what I did for myself to psych myself up or to, to ne- not get psyched out of it is not make it a big deal because yeah. it was because yeah. it was a huge deal because it was the biggest deal it could be for a stand up. I I I made it smaller. Okay, and Jackie. Then, what you on this show? They want you to act like though it's a big deal. Oh no! Yeah, they want reality show. Like, oh my god, I'll pass okay. out. Okay. I'll shake so, if I don't. You know, okay. I know. I get it. Yeah. They want a good TV. Yeah, and they and they wanted a background story to, for all of that. 100%. But I, but I do realize that I had to, I added that show to my itinerary like it was a spot of the improv. Got gotcha. you. And gotcha. I could I couldn't make it today's AGT that I made it comedy and magic on Tuesday, AGT on Wednesday. Improv on Thursday, and I made it part of my because I would do I taped the, those rounds and had shows afterwards. Oh, good okay. deal. I would go to Manhattan, not Manhattan, I would go to LA and do go up on stage. So it was good because when they like you there, you feel like you're going to do a good job. Yeah, and that, that, that show is run like it is so smoothly run by pros who are not sweaty and nuts, they are professional, they have it down to a science. They like Jackie you move here. They, it was so organized. I, they almost picked me up and carried me from point A to point B. I, I got to say, like, it was like that. I got to say, the show is so well run. Like you, I'm just repeating what you're saying. But yeah, in all the respect to those guys, because they really, here's the thing I love yeah. about the show. Yeah. They really want people to win. Yes. They, they really were doing everything they can. They almost they almost cradled me after every set. Like, you okay, girl? You I mean, if they, if they could vote <laughs> for you, they would. They would yes. vote for every single person. 